Rich man here. <laughs> Rich man here. Chopping some coconuts. Dry boys. Use this to make some milk. Coconut milk. Inside this shell here. Out of shell. One more step closer to the gold, to the silver, to the oxygen. To the helium, to the hydrogen, to the carbon, and all the elements that makes up this. Move them already. Dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> now for some more.
fucks these boys out here. Gotta get coconut milk. Most people, when they see these coconuts, well, most people in the States, I would say, the rest of the world, not sure. time they see these dry coconuts, they're like this already, Huck Scout and everything. Me, I enjoy picking them off the tree. Get my tools here. I enjoy planting the tree. Watching it grow, take care of it if it needs that care. Most likely they don't. This is a natural plant, so you plant them in the correct environment that they need, they will grow. Love to watch some fruit. Watch the fruit get big. And in between that point, and the point where it's ready to grow again as a seed. I enjoy the fruits from that labor. You know what I mean? So, yeah. These ones are drying. These are bigger. They're drying. That water in there <clears throat> was still green most likely when you do this can't even hear the water shake because the water is filled up and then even to the point where it's <clears throat> pressurized it's pressurized but not as much as the, um, the green ones are and you can see that when you open it just take all this outer layer on the green ones and then burst into this part right here past this particular shell right here won't look like this dry it'll be a white color but then it would spew out because all that pressure but once it starts drying the pressure kind of die down now it's starting to get to the point of regrowth. Another seed is born. So yeah. Pretty much it. Yeah. off the bottom part it's a little easier to get off the shell the shell is kind of damp but you see it's still dry it's still damp but it's dry so it's still easy to come off once you start to hug see when it starts to dry all right go the bottom pieces drop them drop them over here now I'll do the same thing that I did before. Which is split up top part here. A little bit harder. So what I'm doing is I'm getting in line with the grain of the shell here. 
So it's easier to chop. If you get in line with the grain, you go against the grain, it's harder to chop. Things are tougher than you think. Of course, if you know it, you can know how to get to those layers. So you can peel it back. All right? For all you young men out there, like myself, this is what I like to do when it comes to young women or women is to peel back those layers. So you gotta know where to address, right? So you can get into those layers and learn about who that person, thing, place is. I mean, so know the coconut. The coconut can be very, very intimate in your relationship. Peel back the layers. If you want to clean it up, this is how you clean it up here. Just scrape off the, the excess out of follicles.
them bad boys. When they're green all the way, it's actually easier to chop them because the follicles are pretty soft. And once they start drying up, they become strong, more durable, protecting the seed on the inside. I would say for it to then grow. Do you agree? Wouldn't you agree? Push. Get him off this shell here. These two line shoes are picking up this stuff. So you can see, you don't really need to chop off the bottom part down here. Do that. Hugs these things are everywhere. Let's find a way that works best for you. Congratulations. On grat gratulations.
last one I'm gonna do. some more of these left but I'm gonna save these for later for another time Get these five I got good enough for making some milk for the time being for the time being that shit How does it go? What has three eyes, but only one open? Only one ever opens. What has three eyes, but only one ever opens? Coconut. One, two. Three eyes, only one ever open. And this is the bag. This is the bag right here that opens. So this one, this is where the seed is at. The ones that open, eye that open, there's a little seed in there. This is actually, it's part of the seed, but you wouldn't consider this a seed. You know, it is a seed though. Cause it's this part right here, where the actual coconuts start growing from. It's a little bitty bud. So if you open this up, split it right here, you see this little bitty tiny little round bud. It look like a seed, but it's real small. But it start growing from here, that eye that's, that's the only one that's open. The eye that only opens out of all three of these. It start growing, it will shoot out this way and then it will start growing a big sack on the inside of this. That sack will begin to eat up what I'm going to use to make the milk. Okay? So the sack will swell, and as it swell, the inside of it decomposes, and it eats that until it breaks through the coconut with its roots and all of that. Okay, so the water, the sack, and it has the meat inside. That's how these grow. And they like to grow in the shell, not from here. So, when you get a coconut and you wanna grow it, if it looks like this already, waste your time. For as for what I know and what I've seen, you wanna leave it like this. Put it down somewhere in your yard somewhere. And you'll see when it start growing. Leave it in all its shells. Once you do this, coconut is not growing, okay? Because this part don't like to be exposed to the air until it's ready to be exposed to the air. It's kind of like you leaving the planet. Hmm? You can make sure you're ready, have your suit on to go out of the planet. So that's what I've noticed about coconuts uh, as far as me observing them myself and that's it so yeah so your father sends you to the store he gives you one he give you three dollars you can only buy one thing but your father need wood for the fire he needs water for the pot and he needs some meat to cook in the water what are you gonna buy at the store? Coconut. It has the water inside. This outer shell right here is 
gonna be the wood. These blazes, once you light these, it's a good firewood. And then of course the white part on the inside is the meat of the coconut. So you have one meal right here. You got the water, you got wood for the fire, and you got the meat. If you're gonna cook it. <laughs> ah. Yes, y'all. Time to make some milk. So we're gonna bust this open, crack this shell here, and enjoy. Brush yourself off. Brush yourself off. That's right. Brush yourself off. Rich man. Rich man chilling. Rich man chilling. <laughs> Yeah, this has been a rich man, so uh, enjoy, enjoy the rest of y'all. Beautiful, wonderful day. And uh, hope you learned a little bit about this coconut here. Very good meal. Very good fruit to eat. It's a fruit to eat. Um, put a body, help you building up muscles. Give, you like, give yourself some food for them to do what they're supposed to do. Help your body out. You know what I mean? Same. Coconut water. Very good for your blood, your heart, and the rest. You know what I mean? I haven't confirmed this to be true, but I heard someone say that uh, the only other liquid on earth other than blood that we know of that can be used as a blood transfusion is coconut water. I don't know if that's true or not, but it makes sense to me to a certain extent. But, um, yeah, coconut water is some dynamite thing, man. Good for the muscles, good for the blood, good for the heart. Yeah. So, peace, relax, and enjoy you and yours. And, um, that's it. I'm out. <laughs>